Okay, um, hi everyone. I've never done this before, so I just thought I would try to do something constructive and well thought out while I'm quarantined in my house here in New York. Um, it's actually, it's an apartment. Um, so what I've been thinking about for probably the last um, three weeks before we were quarantined in is, um, you know, when we're talking to each other, we uh, organically get very excited and possibly spit a little bit. And this actually happened to me when I was at an event, um, one of my friends, uh, events a couple weeks ago. And so what got me Googling face masks and face protection so that I could um, possibly buy something uh, and, and get it here before we had all of this crazy outrage. So um, because everything was on back order, I decided to use my skills as a maker and as a fashion designer uh, and go to work making some patterns and some templates. And that got me to um, being creative and getting a little scrappy and um, figuring out how to make a face mask of essentially using a shower curtain. So while this is not the absolute ideal uh, like material to use, it's not bad at all. Um, so I took, so I'm gonna step this out because I do do props and I do craft for, for, uh, for people. So this is a shower curtain and initially it's a clear plastic one. Um, it's like, you know, I don't know what the mill is. It's hard to find out how thick it is, but it's fairly, you know, it's fairly transparent. Obviously it's a clear plastic, you know, curtain shower curtain. So what I did was I, um, I actually created a pattern, which is this shape here. And then I traced it off onto my shower curtain. It's in purple actually. And then um, I looked up the other designs that I had found and I discovered that they had made them a little more chic by putting some piping around them. So what I did, I can't believe I'm doing this, um, is I actually got some binding tape, some quarter inch binding tape that's um, double faced. So it's like a little um, packet that's folded on itself. And I started pinning it around, um, around, the, around the shower curtain. So what I did was I measured the circumference because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach it to my hat. So I measured the circumference of my hat and I can put those actually in the description. Um, and then what I did was um, I took I took the uh, binding tape and I pinned it all around uh, the plastic. So I'm gonna do that now. And the reason why I'm saying use this plastic as opposed to thicker plastic, which I also use if you have something like a, um, like a PVC or something from like a dining room table cloth, you could probably use that. Um, the thing is to find something that you could either wash with um, soap and water and like a soft cloth um, or you could wipe down with like rubbing alcohol and it would be fine. And this way you can wear something that doesn't look like those hospital masks and still go out with your friends, not go out with your friends, still be careful um, and not look like a hospital worker. I just didn't want to look like a hospital worker anymore. Um, so as you can see, I just started pinning this all around and I did this to all of them. I actually stepped it out so that you don't have to watch me sit here and and pin it. So I pinned all of my trim with the binding. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew it. So if you don't have a sewing machine and you're doing it with the shower curtain, you totally can do this by hand. It's just gonna take longer um, and it's hard to do, you know, like you're stitching through plastic. But um, if not, then you can use a sewing machine. So let's get sewing. And this sewing machine is like amazing. Um, I will also say that I um, I actually changed out the needle to um, support um, this, like uh, I put a thicker needle, needle in there. So this is uh, for something like all purpose, like an all purpose needle or something that will sew um, through thicker material just because I don't want to be popping needles while I'm sewing this, so. Yeah, everybody is kind of uh, stuck in their apartments and trying to think of what they can do to keep themselves busy and productive. And I thought this would be the best way to do it uh, because at some point I am going to want to go outside and possibly talk to another person and have some sort of face protection. So that's what I'm hoping this does. And I've never done a YouTube, so... I'm a little nervous. So you just can 
continue and sewing all around your entire um, face mask. Or, you know, just, I hate to sound like the, the home act teacher, but in and out, in and out, in and out. And you stitch all the way around. And then once that's done, you have your finished face mask. So you can see the trim, again, is all around this. And then I have two long pieces on either side. And now all I'm going to do is take a baseball hat, which we all have, and, um, and actually just tie it on. Just like that, and go out. And it's really not bad looking. I mean, from the side, from the front, um, at least I feel like, number one, you're looking at my face. You're not looking at me having one of those masks on. I feel like my eyes, my nose, and my mouth are protected. And um, again, like I can go out and I can at least feel like if I'm going to have a conversation with someone, I'm not going to be getting, you know, their spit in my face. Um, so I don't know if this is helpful or not. I've never done a, a live YouTube. Um, I am a maker in New York and um, I actually started making a bunch of these um, with um, a better quality vinyl and um, have a whole female workforce of freelancers ready to go um, because I think that the, you know, the hospital masks should be left for the hospital workers, but we need something to make ourselves feel protected and look a little chic. So I hope this was helpful. Um, please let me know. Um, uh, subscribe to my station. Um, I have 33 people and I'm trying to hit 100. And um, I hope, it, you know, let me know if there's something else I can make. Um, I have another version I'm going to do, but I just thought this was a great way to keep yourself busy and use like a common item like your shower curtain to actually make a face mask.